up, YouTube? It's been a while. I'm just sitting up there, I'm checking in. I'm um, sorry, I really haven't been to videos. I'm going through a little uh, stressful situation. But anyhow, uh, just wanted to get into the topic of like that a lot of people in America need to hear what I got to say. And I'm not trying to offend nobody when I say this, because I know it's a lot of people from different cultures that watch my videos. I'm, I'm speaking directly to black people. I don't want anybody to think I'm racist or anything. I'm speaking to blacks, Hispanics, like Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Indians, whatever. It's about time we got the out of America because it's not meant for us to be here. They don't want us here. And why you want to be somewhere where it's meant for you to lose? It's, meant for you, it's not meant for you to win here. First of all, they use so many tactics to keep us back. For example, jail, bills, all type of things just to keep us going in circles, to keep us in debt. And you don't own nothing here. I talk to a lot of people that say, yeah, man, I bought a house here. But if you do something wrong, According to their wrong, they can take your house from you. How can they take something from you that you done spent 30, 40, 50 years paying off? They can just take it right from you. You call that free? It's about time that a lot of us just got our passport and just got up out of this country. You know, I always told everybody that if I ever got the, a chance to speak against the system, I would wake so many people up. I done been around a lot, I done saw a lot. I'm not saying I'm the wisest man in the world. I'm not saying that. But it's about that time, bro. It's about that time. I don't know why we keep waiting around, you know, thinking things gonna change, thinking we equal. And we got our own kind over here turning on us. It's just no way to win. No way. It's the system is set up for us to fail. When are we gonna get that? I figure I can reach people on my platform and try to get everybody on board, but it's not working. And it's kind of making me frustrated because I'm up here like, what's it going to take for us to, as people to wake up and say they don't want us here? They don't. They show them at the time, at the time. It's other good places out there. You got the Philippines, you got Thailand, um, Mexico's all right. They'll try to make it like Mexico this, Mexico that. But America has the same problem as Mexico has. They claim they got cartel members, but you got fucking police over here killing us. Or oh, they got drugs over there. Okay, well, you got CVSs, you got Walgreens, Rite Aids, Walmart. They got drugs. What's the difference? When are we going to wake up? We can't beat them over here because we don't have army tanks. We don't have jets. We don't have submarines, we don't have battleships, we don't have drones. So to fight this beast, we gotta get up out of here. We gotta go somewhere and build an army. There's no way we're gonna beat them. I don't wanna keep talking in circles, keep saying the same thing over and over, but I don't know how to put it for us to be like, God damn it, this man is right. You know, it's crazy. They done blindfolded us for 500 years, and none of us got it. 500 years. And we all know that the system is killing us. We all see it. Like, how the hell can how the hell can we be blindfolded this many years? It's no way in in hell that we can keep being naive to the situation. We're not doing nothing about it. And I got a video coming up about relationships. Y'all all got to hear this because I'm gonna go in on that release. Really, so. Because we fuck, we, 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 I don't want to cuss because we probably have kids watching this video, but we both screwing up on both sides, men and women. We screwing up. You know, we sitting up here trying to live accordingly to what the government wants us to live. And I got a video coming about uh, World War Three, About how they trying to make Russia, like Russia is the problem. About how Ukraine is the problem. But if you watch what's going on around the news, Russia and Ukraine, for real, for real, they not the problem. 
The same thing that Russia is doing to Ukraine is the same thing that America has done to, uh, to Iraq and Afghanistan. They went over there, they took their oil, and they took the land from them. But Afghanistan finally ran the white man out of there. What I mean by white man, I'm not being racist, I'm talking about white supremacy. Because that's what white supremacy do. They go to other places and they take the land from people. They enslave you. That's what they do. Anytime you got to go into another country and have army fatigue uniforms and rifles and walk around neighborhoods, that's terrorism. And they want to call them terrorists. First of all, the same thing happened to Gaddafi when he trusted America. Same thing happened to Bin Laden when they gave him weapons when he was eating all out of the White House, coming all over here. He was the good guy, right? Now look what happened to him. You see what they're doing to other people and you see what they're doing over here. Right? But a lot of you black idiots want to sit up there and go join the motherfucking army. Excuse my language. Like I said, kids will probably watch the video. But you want to go up there and join the army thinking you equal to these people. Then when you come back over here and you s accused of committing the crime, they melt you in that courtroom. They melt you. Treat you like a slave. But when the black person is the enemy and somebody white is the is like the aggressor, they go light on them. It's about time we wake up, y'all. About time I get back on YouTube and start putting more videos up, you know. I stopped traveling because I'm going through a situation of my own. I don't want to talk too much about what's going on because... I don't know who's watching. And a lot of people that's, you know, watching me can be people I don't socialize with. I don't want them trying to, like, kick dirt on my name. Because I'm going through something where I need to get this taken care of because it's affecting my life. But we'll talk about that later as well. But Malcolm X once said, these thick bros is not fighting for no nation. They too busy trying to climb back onto the plantation. He said that 50 years ago. And that's all I see is black people trying to be followers, want to be equal. That's something you would never be. Got a nerve to be working up in these courtrooms, joining the law enforcement. Then you complain when they treat you wrong. You know how these people are. And you still continue to go over there and try to be with them. Like these fools that's in Hollywood. They're puppets. They just got a couple dollars. They're puppets. They don't care about us neither. It's real easy to go in the hood and get somebody to, um, oh, sorry about that, everybody. I'm in my car, and when I see people creeping up on me, I don't know who they are. I'm going to keep looking over my shoulder, as you should. You know, this car is just creeping up on me. I don't know who they are, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry to throw y'all off, but it's not going to change, y'all. Malcolm X was telling us years, and Dr. Clay Muhammad, too, was telling us years about how, they, how, they, how this person is. Not going to be no better. America mean prison. That's what America is, is prison. That's all they do. We... We got the most jails and the jail population rate in the, in, in the whole country. What does that tell you? But anyhow, y'all already wrapped this thing up. I got a lot I got to take care of, take care. I'll holler at y'all later on, alright?